and you know work out what I'm doing in this next game. Maybe I shouldn't have clicked play so quickly. <laughs> um, let's say we don't want. Who are we playing? Inspired Zeal. Okay. Let's say we don't need to purify them. And we don't need Fisher King, Mad Charge. Mm. We can pull that out. What do we have? Hmm. I'm an officer and a gentleman. So we are playing Siege. And my deck doesn't really do well against Siege, does it? I have my Sentry and Knight. I can just get rid of that. Um, I mean, I could play a Nyromancy first to play the other Centurion Knight. It doesn't, no. Um, or AA. That's fine. I will just play it off the cuff. For the queen! Even though I probably should have played a Nyromancy into Scenario into pulling that guy out. Because then he would have had more points. And then I could have had the Scenario out here. I mean, we might be going with Immortals and the Sorceress, actually. Um, the Onager. Do I want to worry about that? Because they're going to use that quite a lot. Like, I could lock it. Because I should lock it. Use the Anaromancy to lock. Because I don't actually have the lock down here, do I? No. Nope. It is in here somewhere. They'll probably just bring out their other Onager, but still. Um, lock. This thing. I mean, he still has Grace, which he is not getting close to. Damage an enemy unit by two. Call down a three at the end of your turn, gain one armor, if crewed up. Hmm. Do I just go for Immortals? If I do this as an Immortals... Sorceress round and then ignore the rest, maybe play Fisher King, take the loss, but make them play good cards. Not that they're actually playing good cards. And maybe we'll stick a Knight Errant in the middle. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You need to play a card. Hmm. I'm aware. Boosting the eyes unit by two. <laughs> Boosted by four instead. Are they going to purify it? Or well, they just didn't want to push anything above nine just in case I have a Geralt? I still sometimes worry about that. Go on, let's do this then. I mean, now you'll see him damage the wrong thing. Was that random? Nope, he just went to kill that instead. He calculated it perfectly, is what we should learn from this. Um, What do we want? To Fisher King? Because... Go for the other sorceress. 
I've lost my tutoring cards at the moment. Right? I mean, it, can, it would be nice if, yeah, if I hadn't. Uh, if I had, like, the AA. Jan can go AA. Can he? Warfare. Oh, it's a warfare card. Did not realize this. And then sorceress. Huh? What is it? Just about. That was a great play, the F jams. <laughs> I didn't realise it was it was a warfare card. That opens up many doors. I mean, one extra door, but um still a very useful door. That's like 99 reasons to play him. I've got 99 reasons, but Amphibious Assault isn't one. No, wait, it definitely is. It's the 99 reasons. Did I forget to replace Dorokurai with Margarita? I didn't just forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot. I, there was something before when I was like, there's something that I said we were going to do. And it was that. And I think it was that. Um, They have a lot of points. And I catch up. Is the question. Because if not, then I just pass, right? I mean, I'll get four. And then six is ten. But I'll be short. Um... I think we pass. Again, there was probably a way to do it. Maybe something... Maybe it wasn't worth playing the Sorceress if... If I realised they were going to play something really good there. I say really good. That would stretch their lead. It wasn't actually that good. We've now lost, um, John. So... Scenario's good. Maybe they play a short round and Fisher King is useful. Maybe I don't risk it. Pella is less useful. Traded Sorceress for his two best cards. Kimbolt and Carrick Marine. Boost three bronze, bronze units in your deck by one the first time an allied unit uses its orders. Each turn, summon a random unit with the same power from your deck to the throw. It is a pretty good card. Fair enough. Marine is the goat. A card Kimbolt pulled out. Raffords. I see. Even. I mean, it's all the same, I guess. Uh, we need to win this. I don't know if they're going for a short round. Clearly they're not going for a short round. Because they've played this. So we're going to play the scenario. And maybe... This guy. He damaged me. You have to go. Well, thank you very much for joining Chu, and for, you know you're very instrumental in building this deck. So all the success that I'm having is pretty much down to you. Um, but yeah, hope you have a, a great day. This siege scenario: spawn a battering ram and a bombardment. I think every time you see it, I'm like, should I? Get rid of it. But he's going to have something like Demavend coming around the corner. corner. Still Heatwave it. I suppose it saves a couple cards. And he has AA as well. With his Onager. 
heavily boosted. Right, I need to boost this, really. Before it dies without charge. Um, which I don't know how to do. I have plenty of cards in here which I can draw out. AA wise. Uh, or maybe not. Let's. Can I even save it? I need to boost it somehow. I'd need to pull out. I know that can do units. Well, this is probably going to be a loss Best then. Give Best give up now, probably. Like, I was thinking I need to use the mad charge on it, and then I could use... Well, if it stays at 3 health, that's fine. Play a warfare card. Well, now he's going to kill... No. Okay. Using a Nairomancy for a Warfare card seems silly. To get Mad Charge, just to boost this, and then so I can use this on it. Um, I think if you turn boost self by one. But they're not boosted their damage, so it's going to kill itself. I feel like I have to do it, even though it's really stupid. Well, let's just do it, even though it's stupid. I mean, it saved them. I activated both their um, graces. They're not the best usage of that, but still. It's just all this damage that they have. With the honor and all that. I can stick the Errant Knight in between. Um, or if I do that, I should do the Amphibious Assault version. he goes up to six, I can even use the charge, which does all that stuff. I was going to use the leader ability, because that would have been enough as well. But again, as of a, I forget about the mad charge that you get from the scenario. Just so much ability to do damage in the Siege deck. I mean, I suppose that's why it's called Siege, because it sieges you. Um, it's probably too late to use that thing, effectively. And this has got a 3 boost, so that won't be enough to get it up to 8 anyway. be two to five, so I have to wait a couple turns. Purify doesn't help. This is probably just going to end up in a loss then, isn't it? It's safer to stick this guy here so that he can boost. Yeah, that one on the left is close to uh, being damaged. So I need to find 10. From somewhere. If I play this... I 
I mean, I can definitely get turn by playing both the cards, but can I do it in one card is the question. Four. That'll get two boosted, and then three on top. It would lose me that, though. Um... And also four, two, and three is nine. Well, actually, that will go up. No, that will stay there. Um, oh, but then it will grace. Will it grace if it gets to nine? I don't know. Actually, I should put that there. Oh, no. Well. And if I pass now, that gets an extra two boost, so that should be enough. Okay. Just about. But they're either going to have... What are they going to have? Like, pre-stuffs? I've seen pre-stuffs in some of these decks. No thank you, Pella. No thank you, Squirrel. Okay. So getting the boost from this guy, probably worth it. Squire for Prince Anseus is also useful. And then, well, maybe we put him on the back row. We don't want him to die, though. Let's start with this. Rather die than bend the knee to the Emperor. Do I have card advantage? Oh, yeah, because I have the Pella card left. I mean, that's useful. But still, not if they have something like a Traveling Priestess. A A. Nine. Wow. I pass on every tenth round. Reduce and cooldown. I mean, I could just kill that. Because that me if he can play this every turn. Oh no, he can only play it once. But if he. I mean, I have to play this next, really. Otherwise, it loses its boost. Squire's good, but then he'll just use this. Your shield, sir. Needs more turns? No. Apparently not. But he had boiling oil. Well, even still. Um, I don't understand. Um, resupply is the keyword. Oh, okay. I hate resupply. So I should play this on this row, boost it, the next turn it can deal a lot more damage. Because if I put it on the front row, it's just killing that. I mean, if he has another five damage thing, then he's got me. Give an enemy unit leading four. Okay, so we can boost an allied unit by five. And then duel this thing. Boost him, kill the 11. Can he kill the 11? Oh, because he's got two armor. I mean, that's a safer play anyway, but... Oh, 
I still don't really understand dueling. I feel like he should have done more damage to me. Anyway, give him the GG. That was tricky. Somehow I won. Nice gamble. Risky. <laughs> this is how I play. It was either that or lose, right? If I played it on the front row, what would have happened? I would have been down one health. Or maybe two health. So I wouldn't have been able to kill that, but I probably still would have been able to kill their thing on the front line. Because that would have had seven. So it would have gone from like four to nine, and then I would have killed that. But I would have been on... I don't know. Something. Um, right, we're going to do one more, I think. And then I might have to go. Because I've been here for four and a half hours. If you're new here, I'm a noob. I mean, I say that. This is what, my 17th stream of playing four hours-ish each time. This is the first time I'm playing Northern Realms. I mean, beyond um, Thronebreaker and beyond the tutorial. So this is my first deck. Kindly put together with the help of Chu, who was here earlier. Who are we playing? Nelfgaard. These two allies. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.